was in Afghanistan, I was in Africa, and then I was on the west side. And what I realized is that we have families that are living in third world conditions that live 40, 50 minutes out of Fresno. We have so many children in this community that are experiencing trauma, domestic issues, living in poverty. Our story and my story is that, that of many others. We grew up in the fields, working them, sleeping in them, taking naps, you know, spending our lunch time, our breaks, um, playing with rocks, and actually eating uh, most of the crops that we pick. Many times when food, uh, food insecurity was an issue, this translated into, you know, um, somewhat feelings of shame when it came to going to school and going, um, you know, you've had what you can to eat at home and uh, you may be hungry. It's, it's, it's a, like a hole that, you know, you can't, you, you just can't fill. First time that I went out to Mendota and did a backpack distribution, I saw, um, apartments that where the flooring you know was so thin that it was down into the dirt where the electricity was not constant um, in homes and so the kids did not have electricity at night to study those are developing third world country conditions there were certainly um, you know moments of um, being sick and needing to go to emergency care maybe maybe a small tiny fraction of uh, people in Mendota have access to that my son was diagnosed with a high-functioning form of autism. I can only imagine if he was born in Mendota. It would be a whole different circumstances. He would not be where he's at today. The kids that I grew up with, we didn't know we were poor. Uh, we didn't have an understanding of poverty until we were in high school. 